What's up everybody and welcome back to another gold making video. Today we're going to be going over one thing that we have gone over on this channel before and one thing that is unique. However, both of them are out of Dire Mall, so I kind of figured I would recap on one and teach you guys about the other. Now the second one is a little bit new to me as well. I hadn't heard about it until maybe a week or two ago, so I've been kind of having fun testing this out. I've done it on stream a couple of times, so you're probably familiar if you've been watching the stream. You probably know exactly what I'm going to be talking about. Uh, but for anyone who has not seen the stream yet, uh, we are located in Dire Mall North. I generally go on my druid. I think it's a little bit easier um, just because as a druid, you can dream walk to Feralos right here. You will port out to right here, and then it's a really, really quick flight down here to Dire Mall North. So we're just going to head in and kind of talk and run at the same time because we are running to the very, very end of the dungeon. Uh, but first, before we start running, we are after two items in here. So the one that I have made a video on before is a thoroughly read copy of Nat Pagel's Guide to Extreme Anglin, which is quite the mouthful. Now this book right here is used for a paladin artifact appearance. So still is sold to this day. And I think a lot of people recently have forgotten about it because I've been selling them and the price has gone way up on my server. Like they're at 3000 gold on my server right now, which is really, really good for such a high pop server. Uh, the region market value is 12.2K, which is crazy high. And now the item that we have not gone over before is this schematic major recombobulator. So this one here, uh, drops off of the tribute chest at the end of the dungeon. Now, what does that mean exactly? Well, if you've never been in Dire Mall North, obviously there are quite a few bosses in here. There's this one here, there's this one over here, and they're just, there are quite a few bosses and sometimes uh, like some of them are patrol, so you might accidentally kill them. So my advice to you, if you were just coming here for this schematic, which I highly recommend you do because it is 36.6K your region market value, uh, I highly recommend just come here, farm up the books and the schematic at the same time. So we are running, this is right where our first book might possibly be. It is just a red book on the ground and you can right click it and get it. Uh, so that's the one of the guards where I have panic swiped at him before. Uh, you can still get items out of the tribute chest if you kill bosses. Don't think that you can't. You would just will get less items. So really important that you don't kill any of the bosses like I did. Uh, so the schematic here has a 0 0.01 cell rate. It is currently 35k on my server, so still really, really high for even my high pop server. So the reason it's so expensive is because it has a 6% chance to drop out of the tribute chest, which isn't too bad. Um, in my time testing it on stream, I actually ended up with two of them in the hour. And right here is where our second book is, by the way, just in case you haven't seen the other video. Again, it will be a little red red book there that you can click. Uh, but yeah, so I ended up with two for the hour and then I was running this earlier and I also ended up with two. Um, so when I was testing on a different server, so I, I only have my two in my bag. But I don't recommend like if you have if you have more than two, it's probably time to quit farming it because this one here, like it's going to be a slow seller because this is primarily going to be for people collecting I don't think there's anybody who wants to buy this schematic for anything other than collecting because it, it's a schematic for a trinket, right? So normally I recommend that when you get um, schematics and, and stuff like that, like that you learn it so you can also do the crafted transmog. But in this case, because you're just having a trinket, not necessarily worth it. Definitely just go, sell the schematic and you're also getting the books, so sell the books as well. Now our final book is right in this area here. And once again, it's bright red, so it's pretty easy to tell. Now we do have to kill King Gordok here. And then we will have this poor ogre over here. He's like, well, the king's dead. What do we do now? So he calls Mizzle the Crafty over here, who you will right click and you will become King of Dire Maul. So we're just gonna click through our text here. I am now the king and right click on him again, henchman tribute, and then I would like to see the tribute. So here's our treasure chest right here. Uh, when you right click it, and we will do that real quick, 
you will get a ton of blues. Uh, fantastic if you're trying to complete all the things. Uh, otherwise, I did not get lucky this go around, but like I said, 6% chance. So sometimes uh, not going to drop for you. But hopefully you get lucky. Hopefully you come in here and you get a couple if you try to run 10 times in an hour. Highly recommend you do that. But like I said, please don't flood the auction house with these. They are slow sellers, but they are more than worth it once you have them up in the auction house. Just because, I mean, how many people, one, would be aware of this and two, really want to come out here and farm this? I mean, that's how you kind of make the most gold, right? Is doing things that people don't know or don't really want to come out and do themselves. But anyway... Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have not subscribed to the channel, uh, please consider subscribing and liking the video. And that's it, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.